Hey, I'm Shannon. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Today I'm filming a closet clean out kind of video. Um, I'm going to give you some tips on how I sort out my clothes and decide what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of and donate. Plus, I feel like this video might serve as motivation for some of you because I know I struggled to get started on this. This is probably the fifth day that I've attempted to do this and just now I'm getting around to it. So yeah, so this is also a motivational video. So once you're done watching, go ahead and get up and clean out your closet too. So the first thing I do is I take all of the clothes out of the closet and you don't have to do this all at once, but in sections, take everything out. Um, you don't want to look through it in your closet because you'll skim over things. You'll not really give it a fair chance and really decide whether or not it's worth keeping. You have to actually remove it, look at it, hold it up, try it on. If it's something you haven't worn in a while, um, you definitely want to try it on and decide why you still have it. So in order to do all of those things, you need to pull everything out of your closet first. But I'm going to do it in chunks. That way my entire closet isn't just laying on my bed. Once you've pulled out a decent sized chunk from your closet and have it on your bed, I like to go through and make three piles. First pile is something that's definitely going to go back in the closet. You wear it all the time. There's no reason to get rid of it. Number two, things that automatically stand out to you as I've not worn this in forever. I don't really like it anymore. Let's get rid of it. And then three, the maybes. Another tip is to have music or a movie or a TV show playing in the background just to keep you interested, keep you going. That way you don't completely lose interest and get bored as soon as you start. Cue time lapse. So I've got two piles going now, one of definitely going to get rid of, and then the maybes. I put everything that's a definite yes back in my closet just to get it off my bed. That way I have room for my maybe pile to try on and kind of feel around of what I want to do with it. My next tip is that while you're going through your maybe pile, grab a friend or a family member and just ask their advice if you're really iffy on something. So I'm going to FaceTime my friend Chrissy and we are going to go through the maybe pile. All right, and I'm done. I got through my entire closet and all of the clothing in drawers over here, and I'm pretty happy with, maybe not, okay. I'm a little disappointed in the fact that I didn't get rid of as much as I wanted to, but I got rid of a decent stack back here, so I mean, it's progress at least. Tips for when you're going through your maybe pile, you really need to look at if something fits you well. If it doesn't fit well and you think, oh, it's a little bit big or a little bit tight, you're not gonna wanna wear it as often. So if, if it's not worth getting tailored, then don't keep it. Another rule is that if you haven't worn it in the past season that it was appropriate to wear that item. So a tank top, for example, if you didn't wear that this past summer, you're probably not gonna wear it this upcoming summer. So there's no reason to keep it. If it's something that you're holding on to, really evaluate why you're holding on to it. If it's something that has a memory, maybe think of saving it in a storage box or like a memory storage box rather than it taking up space in your closet. I'm also very much a person that loves clothes, loves fashion, loves shopping. And I feel like all of the items in your wardrobe should excite you and you should want to wear it. And if you have any of those items where it's just like eh, or you're thinking, oh, I really feel like I need to keep that for such and such a reason, but don't feel like I really want to wear that, get rid of it. Get something that you enjoy instead. There's no reason that you should keep old clothing in your closet that you're not enjoying anymore and that you're not loving because there are pieces out there that you will enjoy much more and get much more use out of that are just waiting to be bought. And don't deny them that privilege to be in your closet. 
Also some rules before you donate some things, make it easy on the charities or organizations that you're donating to and check to make sure the items don't have rips or stains or holes or anything like that in them. Um, just make sure they're good quality and look new enough where someone would be happy to wear it again. Also, if you're a little low on money, you can always take some of the clothing that is taking up your closet space and try to sell it. Um, definitely hit up a few stores. If it doesn't sell at one store, it might just be the specific inventory that they need isn't what you're offering them. Um, so try a different store and then after a couple, if it's not worth the gas money to drive it around, then go ahead and donate. Um, but that's a really good tip. If you're low on cash and looking to make some money off of the wasted space in your closet. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling on now and end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you motivation to tackle your own closet space. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and come back and see more from me soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.